Welcome to video 36 in series 3 and in this video I'll write the toggle inventory UI script and that's the one responsible for calling the event for toggling the inventory UI. Right, so I'll make a new C sharp script and call it game manager toggle inventory UI. Okay, and as usual, bring it in the namespace, S3. And I'll have a couple of variables here. Uh, first of all, a public bool has inventory. I mean, does this game mode even have an inventory? If it does, then the inventory UI is applicable and all that. Otherwise, it's not. So I'll just put in here a tooltip as well. This is for the inspector. And that is, uh, does this game mode have an inventory? Set to true if that is the case. OK, and that's the tooltip done, which will appear in the inspector. Uh, then I need a reference to the actual inventory UI game object, so public game object, uh, inventory UI. Um, I'll also need a string to uh, keep a reference of the name of the UI button, so public string uh, inventory or toggle inventory button, something like that, toggle inventory button. And I'll type this in the inspector. OK. Uh, and then I'll be using the start and update methods. I'll need my own void set initial references. And actually, I also need a private variable. So private game manager master game manager master. And then I need uh, another two methods. So void check for inventory UI toggle request, inventory UI toggle request. And then void toggle inventory UI. Okay, so now I need to start setting it all up. So set initial references. And inside of that, game manager master, let's get component, game manager master. And I also want to do another check. If the inventory UI uh, button, if this uh, toggle inventory button name hasn't been set, uh, I want to send off a warning message. So if inventory, uh, if toggle inventory button is an empty string, then debug log warning uh, please type in the name of the button used to toggle uh, the inventory in the inspector oh that's not necessary and that should do it and I'll also say this meaning this script dot enabled is equal to false and that way uh, anything in the update method method won't be running. Okay, so that's good. Uh, next, for checking for the inventory UI toggle request, I'll say if input uh, dot get button up. And which button is that? Well, it's that uh, one right here, toggle inventory uh, button. If this button is pressed and it's not uh, the menu isn't up at the moment so and not game manager master dot is menu on and not game manager master dot is game over so of course you shouldn't be able to bring up the inventory in these conditions and finally as well and has inventory uh, so if this game mode doesn't have an inventory uh, then all this is not applicable to begin with Okay, so if these are all satisfied, then toggle inventory UI. Okay, 
And now in here, I first need to check that if inventory UI is not equal to null, so that a game object has actually been assigned in the inspector, only in that case should I then toggle the inventory. So I will say then inventory UI dot set active to not inventory UI dot active self. So just set it to the opposite of whatever its active state is. Uh, and then also game manager master dot is inventory UI on. Oops, wrong one. Is inventory UI on is equal to true. Oh, sorry, not true, rather, because I'm toggling, rather, not game manager master dot is inventory UI on. That's better. And finally, I need to call the event game manager master dot call event inventory UI toggle. And of course, as you know, by calling this event, then the other stuff like the game pausing, the player not being able to move, the cursor locking or unlocking, all that will then happen. All right, so now I need to check for that. So check for inventory UI toggle request inside of update. And I'm pretty sure I've actually got everything down for this script, so I might as well give it a try. OK. Now I don't have an inventory uh, UI game object, and well, I'm going to have to make one, I guess, in the next video. So in the meantime, I'm just going to put in a cube there, uh, just something as a dummy game object to use for this purpose. So let me just drag it in, and yes, I do have an inventory. I'll type this in very soon. Uh, let me just give this a try, see what happens. And good, I get the warning message, and you can see the script is also disabled, so please type in the name of the button used to toggle the inventory. Okay, good. And and I think I should improve that message, actually, so I'm just thinking about it now. It does need an uh, improvement. Uh, in uh, So I should say, please type the name, type in the name of the button used to toggle the inventory in uh, Game Manager. And once again, it's getting a bit long, so I will separate it out. Go down to the next line. Uh, in game manager, toggle inventory UI. So then it's a bit clearer where I'm talking about. Okay, so I'll just save that, come back. Now go to edit, input settings, so project settings, input. And I'm going to increase the number of. Um, uh, inputs to 19. So I've got a new one here. And I'll change this to toggle inventory. That's the name. And I'm just going to copy that too. Okay. Which button will it be? It'll be the I key. I won't have an alternate positive button. Okay. And then coming back to the game manager, if I put it in here, good. Done. To start with, I'll make the cube disabled. OK, save all that, hit play, no error message, good, and if I press I, nothing happens because the inventory, uh, because the menu is on, if I disable that, press I, good, the cube is enabled and the game is frozen and I can't move. If I press I, there you go, the cube is gone and I can move. So it's like if I had an inventory UI. So it's working nicely. And of course, while I have the inventory UI on, I can't hit escape to bring up the menu. Okay, so very good. Uh, that's pretty much it. And so move on to the next video where uh, I'll show you how to make the UI itself. Thanks for watching.